Back on Sports Pit, Betty and Inside today. Follow us on Twitter at Paulie Howard at Teddy underscore covers. Big game breakdown continues. Live odds, sportsbookreview.com. 5 o'clock Pacific, ESPN, North Carolina, Duke. Duke, 2.5, 162.5 and and the total. Just seven miles from campus to campus. Battle of inside against outside here. Duke gets it done on the perimeter. Kennard, Allen, Jackson, Jones, all of at least 29 triples, 29 made triples, rather, and they're good at the free throw line, but they don't have the depth, Teddy, especially inside. Well, yeah, and that's the issue. I mean, they thought Harry Giles would be another one-and-done, an impact player, but he got injured early. He's not fitting in the rotation at all right now. He played nine minutes against Notre Dame. This is a one-and-done candidate. Nine minutes against the Fighting Irish. Seven minutes against Pitt uh, the last uh, two games. And, and, you know, you talk about that free throw shooting for just a moment because, I mean, there's a lot of things to like about Duke. It might even be better. You know, they're hitting 74.5% for the season, but Emil Jefferson's only at 59. Kennard, Allen, Jackson, and Jason Tatum, all 80% or better, and those are the guys who have the ball in their hands with a point spread on the line uh, late in the second half. So, you know, Duke with that perimeter game, you know, but <laughs> they're going to need uh, all the depth they can find against that North Carolina front court because, you know, the Tar Heels really unique offensively they stink but yet they're number one in the acc and offers efficiency for one reason and one reason only paulie throw up the graphic guys this is incredible how do they do it acc games only overall number one in offense effective field goal percentage 11th three point percentage 11th two point tenth and uh how, why is this happening number one in offensive rebounding not just number one in the acc but number one in the nation by a wide margin getting rebounds on 43.7% of their own misses, which obviously leads to easy putbacks. And you just see the what they have down low with Meeks, Hicks, and Jackson, big guys. Remember when they played Wisconsin earlier in the year, they destroyed them on the glass. Well, that's just it. I, I mean, it's impossible for North Carolina to do what they're doing. It's a statistical anomaly, all right? They're not even in the top, you know, they're, they're out of the, they're not in single digits. <laughs> you know, they're 10th or 11th. An effective field goal uh, shooting, three-point shooting, two-point shooting. They, they they turn the ball over. They steal. You know, the ball gets stolen from them a lot. And yet they're number one in the conference in offense. It's impossible, but they get so many more chances because of that offensive glass. Uh, number one in the nation. You talk about Meeks. What's he, 6'10", 260. You talk about Hicks, 6'9", 245. You talk about Justin Jackson at 6'8", 210. These guys senior, senior, junior, rare experience, especially in this one-and-done age for teams like Duke. You know, North Carolina has that edge in the post. And, of course, Duke, they're just middle of the pack, number seven in the ACC at clearing the defensive glass. The concern, and you ask me what the key handicapping element for this game is, it's most assuredly, can Duke contain North Carolina on the offensive glass? Because if they can't, the Tar Heels are going to win this game, even if their point guard play continues to be mediocre. Certainly, Joel Berry, Nate Britt have just been average. They're certainly not at Marcus Page type level at this stage of the campaign. What do you think of the total? Well, I, 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 I'm not looking for this to be a slowdown uh, uh, affair, uh, but it's not a total I have any strong opinion on. Hey guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SBR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.